Hello, back again with another beer review, and this one is a canned version of a beer I had not too long ago. And first of all, I'd like to thank Davy Poulter for giving me this one. Um, really, really appreciate it. So thank you very much, mate, for this. And it's from Malta, <clears throat> and it's from the Farsons Brewery, um, and it is Chisk from the can. Lovely jubbly, 4.2% ABV. There we go, and it's got uh, some gubbins on the side and all the, the stuff on it. It doesn't tell anything about the hops involved in this, so um, it could be SARS hops, I'm not too sure. Anyway, I don't know if it is a myth or not, where people say, oh, you know, they're going about beer, and, what, and someone will say, oh, but I prefer the canned version of that beer to the bottle. Now... <clears throat> In essence, the beer should be the same, but similar to food, depending on the type of cutlery you use, it does, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, murder me in the comments, I think it does make a difference. So, you know, with canned stuff, you do get a hint of aluminium from the taste, especially if you drink it straight out of the can. In the glass, you might not. But, you know, I will do a review or in a few weeks time when I'm going to have two beers exactly the same, one in can, one in bottle, and I'll see if there's any difference in them. So let's crack her in, like you do. There we go, look, a nice little red ring pull there. So let's go down on her ring, see what we get. And it, there is a sweet maltness there, similar to obviously similar to the bottle. Um, a little bready note as well, I noticed on this one. Um, slight bit of um, maybe cerealness there, just just creeping up, but it smells, you know, rather nice. So let's pour out, and it, you know, it comes out real pale. And as you can see, beautiful pale gold there, and you know it's you know it's it's looking exactly the same what the bottle version was. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it is a, a quite a sweetness malt there, sweet biscuity even. So cheers, Davy, for this one, mate. I'm gonna go in. Again, it's feeling light, it's feeling very refreshing. Um, in hot weather, it's, it's a belt of a beer, it really is. I mean, you can knock and knock these back. And I noticed a, a, the can's 330, but I think the bottle was a lot smaller than the can. I think it was 275, um, which is a bit weird, because you would have thought it would be a 330 bottle to go with you. 330 can which is a bit um, unique anyway as I said in my last review of this it is um, it did win a big award in Australia a few years back uh, this beer and I can see why it is is very very nice and you can just imagine in the Maltese Sun absolutely baking hot and you've got a shed load of these in the fridge you know gonna have a good time on it in you The aroma in the glass is still a lot similar um, to the can, to the can aroma, and it just it, it just feels very very refreshing, and it, you know like I said a great beer to have on holiday. So thanks again, Davy, for this one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Murder me in the comments if you haven't agreed with anything I've had to say, and I'll see you again on my next one. So cheers.